Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely, lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, today we're going to be talking about that AH open letter. And I'm going to show you a few things as well, because a lot of people know this, but I think the people who, the ones who have signed this document, I don't think that they know that they're standing toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder, with the walking Hashtag Me Too case in the industry circle. So, we're going to jump on straight to it. So, people have probably seen this, but this is it from AmberOpenLetter.com. And first of all, before we actually do uh, look at the letter, I'm going to zoom out to 100%. That is the entire letter. And it's kind of interesting because when you look at the press release, the press release is longer than the actual letter, which which is kind of interesting to see. But again, no, this is exactly what they want. And to be honest with you, what we're looking at here is a press release. It is not a letter because this is not a letter that you would send to people. It's literally, right, this is what we're going to do. Press release. We're going to do this, blah, blah, blah. That's what it is. So five months ago, the verdict and the defamation uh, trial between Johnny Depp and A.H., deeply concerned many professionals in the field of this. Well, isn't it uh, surprising that none of these people came out about it then when it was actually going on and afterwards? It's taken five months for these people to come out and just sign something. They haven't said anything. Literally, they've just gone, we've signed a letter. That is literally all they've done. They haven't done anything else. There's no mass articles. There's no mass articles in mainstream media about it, only from a few people who literally have been accused of doing horrible things themselves. So, as you can see, they're going to go on. As many, including A.O. Scott for the New York Times, oh no, that shit rag, have noted the vilification of A.H., an ongoing online this of her, and those who have voiced support for her, have been unprecedented in both vitriol and scale. <sighs> We'll come back to that one. Much of this uh, was fueled by disinformation, misogyny, biphobia, and a monetized social media environment where a woman's allegations of this were mocked for entertainment. The same disinformation and victim blaming tropes are now being used against others who have alleged this. In our opinion, the Depp v. AH verdict and continued uh, discourse around it indicates a fundamental misunderstanding of intimate partner in this and how survivors respond to it. The damaging consequences of the spread of this misinformation are incalculable. We have grave concerns about the rising misuse of defamation suits to threaten and silence survivors. We condemn the public shaming of AH and join in support of her. We support the ability of all to report intimate this and this, free of this and intimidation. That last part, I'm with them, because people should not be... Uh, they should not be scared to go and uh, just say, you know, their allegations, you know, can say they're what they need, to, you know, to get it done. But all of this, this entire letter is nothing but gaslighting. It all is. You know, literally, you go on about everything here, this by here. This is probably the biggest one. So, disinformation. So, talking about court records, going by interviews, public press releases, uh, going about the information that AH provided us as well, remember? All the evidence. That's disinformation. Got you. Misogyny. How can you be misogyny when the majority of people are women who were supporting Johnny Depp and are against AH? You know, women against women, is that called misogyny? I didn't think it was. But if it is, well... Whatever. Okay. Biphobia. Got nothing to do with that. 1,000%. It has nothing to do with that. And a monetized social media environment. So, people who are supporting Johnny Depp because they wanted to get the word out there and show the world evidence, court documents, information that people have told, but other people like the mainstream media and the majority of the people who have signed this letter don't want people to see. Got you. But with all of this, as I was saying, 
This is all done by her PR team. One million percent. Her PR team have gone out of there and done all of this. And I'm telling you now, 1,000% as well, this is the reason she no longer has a Twitter account. Because she knew the amount of tweets that she would get. This is why. 1,000% sure. But this is obviously done, like I said, done by her PR team and everything else. Well, I'm pretty sure the people who signed this letter don't know that Amber Heard's new PR guru hired to paint Johnny Depp as an alcohol binging this has two DUI arrests, left two jobs after this is against him, and is known as the walking Me Too case in industry circles. David Shane, the man who literally hid all his social media when all of this came out and came to light. Guys, do you know you're actually standing shoulder to shoulder with someone who you claim is a horror? You know, oh, this guy's amazing. This guy's great. Look at this. It's an open letter. Well done. Do you know that he, he's actually what you've accused Johnny Depp of? No? I didn't think they would, you know? But it's interesting to see, you know, got by here. He was arrested in 2010, 2012, and left previous jobs after these claims were made against him. Former model, Holly Docker, 32, who he met on the dating app Raya, claims he tried to pressure her into this and then got banned from the site. He also allegedly paid provocatively dressed women to attend a tech company event. He is allegedly nicknamed Hurricane Shane and the walking hashtag MeToo case of the PR world by industry insiders. Now, according to her letter, which, you know, they got experts supporting them and industry insiders... I'm going to class them as the same. So going by how they think with this letter, I'm going to agree with these industry insiders then, saying that experts who have signed her letter, you are standing with a person who has done essay on people. That's what I'm going to go with, because that is exactly how they think all this is. But it's interesting as well, because like I was saying, with the uh, the actual press release, this is how big the press release is. We'll go up to 100%. 150, 20, 110. There we go. So, look at that. You know, and then it goes down into the people who have signed it. And the sad thing is, with all the people who have signed it, I think I know three. And I hardly know anyone on the list who has signed them as well. So, with all of this, when you see the people that they've done it, it's, it's very interesting to see that... They would try and be like, oh, we got all these people signing it. These are experts. Well, to go with that expert uh, testimony and stuff, look at this here. Dr. Adrian Barnett, I signed too. Please stop the online this of AH. And obviously, of course, she would be retweeting Michelle Dorber. Michelle Dorber, for people who don't know, she has publicly gone on record on Twitter publicly and stated she wishes that Johnny Depp would no longer be on this earth. She has put out there, I wish he would do this. I wish he would just go. But go is obviously put in the word for the other word, which begins with D-I-E. And some of the horrid and absolute disgustingly things that this woman has said, she's like, I'm going to sign this because it's, it's, it's going to stop it. So you are nothing but a hypocrite, Michelle Dorber. But to be honest with you, so is this Dr. Adrian Barnett, because... Oh, wrong one. Because with this, I did actually retweet it, and I need to find it again. Now where the hell is that gone? Give me a second, folks. I will find this. Aha, there we go. So, with her signing that, I retweeted it, and I put down Doc. Stop the online harassment and media harassment of Johnny Depp too. This is the problem with you people. You sign one thing and then do the exact thing you say you're against. Nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. You don't care about her or anyone in that matter. Which is very true because one thing I've noticed as well with a lot of these people, a lot of the ones who are voicing support for Amber, the ones who are signing all these things and everything else, they're not exactly doing anything to stop what's going on against Johnny Depp. Now, with everything that has recently come out, and we're going to go back on to, uh, go back on my page here. So where is it? 
Uh, oh, yeah, that one there, obviously standing up. Where is it? Where's the one I did? Right, oh, this one here. So, this is another doctor. I still stand with her. And I'll stand with victims of DV who've been called crazy, who've been mocked, trolled, silenced, and this. And I'm not the only one. Great to hear, Doc. So you stand with Johnny as well. He is being called crazy, which he is. He is being mocked, which he is. And he's being this, which he is. Still after she was found guilty by a jury. I'm telling you now, these people are only seeing what they want to see. It's a shame and it's sad to see. Again, 1000% with that. I stand by that statement. I wouldn't have put it out as well. But, do you want to know what the icing on the cake is? So, open letter for AH, they've obviously gone out and put a Twitter account there, which has only been made last month. So, obviously, they haven't got a lot of followers, which is kind of surprising, because they're saying that there's literally millions of people supporting her. But well, why aren't they on Twitter? <gasps> That's right, they're all uh, ghost accounts, they're all fake, and they're all bots, which we've all seen. Because if you go on Bot Sentinel, it's actually on there. It actually shows sh the shoes. That's going to come up in a minute. Shoes. It actually shows you, and it's kind of interesting. The Bot Sentinel will actually be like, oh, well, look at these. But then you, the people who he's put on there, they've retweeted stuff towards him as well, towards Bot Sentinel saying, the people you're saying are supporting you, they've literally got nine to 20 accounts each, which is kind of sad. Anyway, so this is what their letter is, you know, going in there. These replies eloquently prove your point about this of anyone who shows support. Nicoletta put out there, your reply shows, you know, but shoes, why these replies are needed. Gaslighting everyone. It's disgusting, which this Caroline woman is. She is gaslighting everyone. But look what Caroline comes back with. Your reply shows that many of the people who support Johnny Depp are barely literate. That there, that is a perfect example of someone who doesn't like having a conversation or who someone's opinion is different to theirs. It's also a fact when, you know, people who do that are the ones who know that they've lost an argument. They know that. And as you can see, she goes on with that there, you know. On the other hand... The letter was signed by PhDs and lawyers. Figuring out which side to take seriously is a no-brainer. Well, Caroline, I'm glad you think that, because... Saying it's signed by PhD and lawyers is a no-brainer shows how much of an idiot you are. You can get a PhD in general studies. You can get a PhD in creative writing. Hell, you can get a PhD in hanging curtains. Basically, interior design. And all that kind of stuff. That's what you can get. So, seeing that, well, it was signed by PhDs, ha! Huh? Okay, you're going to have someone who is a creative writer or, you know, interior designer or a general studies master or whatever. You're going to believe them over evidence. Good to know, Caroline, good to know. But when someone, like I said, they, you know, typical person who each other disagreeing with them, automatically goes to you can spell, which is exactly what they do. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are below of this entire situation, because these people who have signed it, all the people, all these organizations who, to be honest with you, I think we should let them know that the person who put out this open letter, her PR team, the manager of the PR team is actual a Me Too uh, case. He's been done numerous times. He's had to leave two jobs because of it. To me, that doesn't show that you're innocent. That shows that you're guilty. If you've left two jobs because of those allegations, you are 1,000% guilty. But that's what we got for this one, ladies and gents. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.